Hi there, I'm Mike Chappell, and in this CERT Mike Explains video, we're going to talk about Shibboleth. In today's interconnected world, managing digital identities and authentication have become a crucial aspect of ensuring online security and privacy. As the number of web services grows exponentially, the need for a unified and secure approach to identity management is essential. Shibboleth, a federated identity management tool, helps address this challenge by providing an open source solution for single sign-on and secure information sharing across organizations. Now, if we look back at history, the Shibboleth project began all the way back in the year 2000 as a research initiative led by Internet2. That's a consortium of U.S. education and research institutions. As Shibboleth aimed to develop a federated identity management solution that would simplify access to protected online resources while still preserving user privacy. Since then, Shibboleth has evolved into a widely adopted, globally recognized standard for web-based single sign-on and federated identity management. Shibboleth is based on the Security Assertion Markup Language, or SAML. SAML is an XML-based standard for exchanging authentication and authorization data between parties. Now, Shibboleth functions as a middleware solution that connects various organizations and enables seamless sharing of user identities and attributes. In a Shibboleth implementation, there are two main components, identity providers, IDPs, and service providers, SPs. Identity providers are responsible for managing user identities and authenticating users. IDPs store user credentials, such as usernames and passwords, as well as user attributes, like name, email address, and affiliation. When a user logs in, the IDP validates their credentials and generates a SAML assertion containing the user's attributes. Service providers offer web-based services or applications to users. They rely on identity providers to authenticate users, and they provide user attributes needed for authorization. When a user requests access to a service provider's protected resource, the service provider redirects the user to their home identity provider for authentication. Once the user is authenticated, the identity provider sends a SAML assertion to the service provider, which then grants access to the user based on the received attributes. Now, before I explain some of the practical uses of Shibboleth, I just want to take a moment to invite you to visit my website at certmike.com. On that site, I have free study plans put together to help you earn your next cybersecurity certification. The plans tie together the content that you'll find in study guides, video courses, and practice tests to help you prepare for your next certification exam and pass that test on the first try. Also, if you're enjoying this CertMike Explains video, please take a moment to click the like button below to help other people discover it. If you subscribe to my channel, you'll be among the first to see my new cybersecurity videos as they come out. A shibboleth is used in a wide variety of settings. It was originally created as a tool for higher education institutions, and it is very popular in colleges and universities around the world. Today, it's also used in the government and private sector as well. Let's walk through an example of how shibboleth works. As you may know, I'm a professor at the University of Notre Dame. I have an account at Notre Dame in the nd.edu domain. As part of my work, I often have to log into services supported by the university that are hosted by other service providers. Let's say that I want to log into the website of a publisher that provides access to anyone at Notre Dame. That login could use Shibboleth. In that case, the publisher is the service provider. They're the ones that offer the content that I want to view. They sell that access to Notre Dame but they don't know who is a valid user at Notre Dame, and they certainly don't know my password. Instead of trying to collect all that information, they just rely on Notre Dame to be the identity provider. When I try to log into the publisher's site, they redirect me to a Notre Dame login page where Notre Dame, as the identity provider, authenticates me. Notre Dame then sends a SAML assertion to the publisher, telling them that I am who I claim to be, and the publisher uses that assertion to grant me access to the content. Shibboleth is a very elegant solution that frees up service providers from the challenges of managing identities, frees up identity providers from the work of managing authorizations at many different service providers, and provides users with a single set of credentials that they can use wherever they need them. I hope this video helped you understand Shibboleth a little better. If it did, please click the like button below and subscribe to my channel for more cybersecurity content.